In this video, I will compare the Ryzen 5 5600H and the Core i5 1135G7, highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. They have their strengths as well as weaknesses. Let's look at them. Both are mid-range processors. The Ryzen 5600H was released two years after the Core i5 1135G7, with the Ryzen launched in September 2022 and the Intel counterpart in September 2020. Both of these processors have four performance cores and four efficiency cores. They also feature eight performance threads and eight efficiency threads. The base clock frequency for the performance cores of the Ryzen 5600H is 2.8 GHz, while for the Intel Core i5-1135G7, it ranges from 0.9 to 2.4 GHz. This suggests that the Ryzen may perform better under normal CPU loads. The boost clock frequencies of both processors are nearly the same, indicating similar performance experiences under heavy CPU loads. The L3 cache size of both processors is the same. However, the L1 and L2 cache size of the Intel Core i5-1135G7 is greater than that of the Ryzen 5600H more cache generally leads to improved system performance by enabling the processor to store and retrieve more data and instructions quickly, reducing the need to fetch data from slower main memory. The maximum RAM capacity for the Intel processor is 64GB, whereas for the Ryzen 5-5600H, it is only 16GB. Having more RAM support is beneficial for increasing multitasking, improving application performance, and ensuring smoother video editing and gaming. It also reduces disk usage, as the system relies less on virtual memory stored on the slower hard drive. The Ryzen supports LPDDR5, while the Intel 1135G7 supports only DDR4 and LPDDR4. Additionally, the memory frequency supported by the Ryzen 7520U is 5500MHz, which is much greater than that of the Intel 1135G7. Both processors support integrated graphics, but the boost clock for integrated memory in the Ryzen 7520U is higher than that of the Intel Core i5-1135G7. Therefore, for graphics-related tasks, the Ryzen 7520U performs better. Both of these processors do not support ECC, indicating that neither is particularly suitable for critical systems. The Intel 1135G7 supports PCI version 4, while the Ryzen 5 7520U supports PCI version 3. Additionally, the number of PCI lanes supported by Intel is larger than Ryzen, allowing Intel to support higher speeds if any devices are connected through PCI slots. The Intel processor can withstand temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius, while the Ryzen processor can withstand up to 95 degrees Celsius. This suggests that the Intel processor can endure higher temperatures. The TDP for the Ryzen 7520U is not configurable and has a fixed value of 15 watts, whereas the i5-1135G7 has a configurable TDP ranging from 12 to 28 watts. Now let's examine benchmark comparisons. In Cinebench R23 single core, the core i5-1135G7 outperforms the Ryzen, and for multi-core, the Ryzen is 1% better than the core i5-1135G7, but we can consider both to have similar performance in multi-core tasks. If we look at Geekbench V6, the Intel Core i5-1135G7 performs better for both multi-core and single-core tasks. Overall, we can conclude that if you prioritize performance and are willing to pay a bit more, the Intel Core i5-1135G7 might be the better choice. However, if you value battery life, affordability, and the future-proofing potential of DDR5 support, the AMD Ryzen 5 7520U is a compelling option. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update. Thank you.